Barev dzez, hayastan. Hi all guys, my name is EC Robiv2 and today I'm gonna react and discuss the results of Depi Evratesil, which is the Armenian national selection for uh, Eurovision. So yesterday uh, evening, the in Erevan, uh, the winner uh, of uh, no, the Depi Evratesil was chosen and it is Sevak Kanagian uh, with the song Kami. So uh, I was... Uh, oh, Chami? Kami, Kami. Uh, I was watching the whole show and it was cool. Uh, all the live performances were... Yeah, were good actually. Yeah, all of them. Uh, there were no disappointments. I think, uh, and yeah, I think it's a good winner. He was one of my favorites, uh, running in the, well, both with the studio version and the live version. I had some issues with the live version, but I'll talk about it uh, while watching the li his live performance once again. So let's remind ourselves of the amazing live performance of uh, Sevak. So first of all, I want to say that I uh, absolutely love his uh, male low voice. It's very good. I mean, it's so good that I just adore this, you know, I don't know how to uh, explain it, but there's something about it that it's so so captivating you know it's you know it's so emotional th this voice maybe you know it's you can't it's not that you know ex much expressive but you know it's very gripping very touching for, for me at least um, there's something magic magical about the song it's a simple song but still with uh, powerful choruses. There's even some power in the verses, I would say. And in general, the song, I like uh, that the, that Armenians have chosen a Armenian song. I don't know if it's for the, actually for the first time, it's in 100% in Armenian, without any English, English li li lyrics, because the last time, we heard some Armenian was in 2009 with Ingan Ya Anush, I think, yeah, with the song Yan Yan. Uh, that was the last time we heard Armenian, but it was a mix with uh, English. The same we had in 2008 with uh, Sirusho and Kele Kele. And uh, actually, Sirusho is my winner in the 2008, uh, but you know, in this it works so good. His voice is is out of this world. It's so powerful and beautiful, and it works in this song very, very well. Uh, the stage is simple, nothing, you know. There's some stars in the background, uh, and I think it's it fits. I think Kami actually means with or something like that. I don't know. That. I I'm not sure. I don't remember, but you know just standing there in black and you know just slaying with his vocals my only issue is that he's sometimes holding the microphone you know a bit too far but uh, in the semi-finals it was it was a bit wor worse with this but he improved in the final uh, but because he was holding the microphone closer to, to his mouth you know so we could clearly hear him uh, but you know he still needs to work about it he, he can't you know just go like this no because it's you know it's uh, not good because that in that way he um, loses his chances to slay like 200 person this is for me uh, 
1990, 99% of this, uh, of him, actually. So there's, you know, 1% missing for me. But in general, the whole performance, amazing, uh, you know, I like this, you know, kind of armor here on his chest. It's very, you know, like he's, it's a, uh, you know, call for war, I would say, uh, with, the, with that armor alone. But in general, I absolutely love this uh, and it's not boring at all. If anyone says boring, then for me, Euphoria is also boring. Yeah. Because it's, it can be boring. It can be more, you know, uh, annoying than boring. Because there's something going on in this. Even though, you know, it's, it's not a catchy number or te up tempo or up beat. So you can't expect, you know, uh, that there will be, you know, uh, fireworks or, so or something like that. But this, yeah, I I think they all, they should work with the staging, like uh, in Israel 2016, Hovi Star had the song made of stars and there were some stars in the background. It was another song, also ballad, but a bit different, but they should use the star rain in the background when he, you know, goes for that uh, last chorus in the song and I think it would be well it's a deserving finalist for me I don't know if it will qualify how people will relate to the song uh, it's hard to predict of course when, when we know only like 21 songs but you know it I think it sh should be in the final because it's a very uh, powerful composition, powerful ballad, and you know you can feel the emotions. Uh, he's, you know, there's some pain. There's, there's no happiness in here, but you know, it's a positive, uh, sad thing. Yeah, I would say that. Uh, so let's, anyways, discuss the other results. Uh, second was. Nemra with the song I Am A Liar, so it's a known uh, rock band in uh, in Armenia, from what I know. Uh, this song is good. The live performance, uh, I like the lyrics in the background. L lyrics, uh, they're they're cool. Uh, the song had, you know, kind of. It's a it's a good rock. Yeah, it's a very good rock uh, that I can listen to. I'm not a you know, big fan that I listen to rock, uh, you know, every day, every night, uh, but it's you know, it's very enjoyable the live performance. It's kind of a soft rock, I would say. It's you know, just some instrumentals and good instrumentals and good vocals. It makes it good, and I can see why he they uh, finished second. Uh, they were. Uh, second with the juries and third with the televote. Uh, third in general was Amalia Margarian with the song Waiting for the Sun. Can I just say that girl has some talent. Her vocals are out of this world. She actually reminded me of kind of Celine Dion. Uh, she's, she seems to be young. I don't know how old she is. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but, you know, she totally nailed her live performance and I can see why jury, both juries and the televoter, the televoting went totally for her, because she was amazing. Anyways, uh, other act having more than t t 10 points, uh, finishing fourth, was Camille Show with the song Puerto Rico. Uh, I have to say that I love the whole act cause, and the song because it's hilarious and you know it's so catchy it could be my guilty pleasure for sure if it uh, won and uh, it's you know it's yeah hilarious but in a very positive way it makes me very happy uh, you know 
it's kind of uplifting, you know, it's good. Uh, and yeah, I watched the show and there was in the, you know, like, yeah, in the, when there was the recap, you know, uh, then they showed, uh, I think, Mger Armenia or Kamil Show, and Kamil Show was like uh, with Ar Mger Armenia doing. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Oh my god! You know, like this, and it was so hilarious. I was laughing like for five ten minutes. Uh, in general, I'm a bit disappointed that. Uh, Kamil didn't, uh, you know, sing too much and didn't sing that well, but in general I love the act because it's uh, hilarious and it's a great comedy act. It's, you know, it should go for... Uh, if only we had Eurovision comedy contest, that would be so good. That would win this, literally win this. Anyways, uh, when it comes to my top 21, Sevak would be my sixth place. I appreciate that he sings in Armenian. I appreciate his effort, good effort, and his you know the ballad is ama this ballad, this powerful ballad is amazing. And we got another male uh, artist in the contest, which is cool because the you know so far the male female percentage is like even, which is cool. Because, you know, we don't want all the time female, you know, slaying divas. Because it would be kind of boring. We need some, you know, diversity. So it's getting in a good way. And, you know, we have more national languages at Eurovision, which is good. Which is absolutely good. Because diversity is always welcome. Some variety, you know, it's good. Yeah, with generous languages, cultures, everything. Anyways, so that's uh, the, my reaction uh, to the winner of the Privratesil. If you like the video, do the thumbs up. If you want to share your opinion about the winner, about the whole national selection, uh, or the crimes, like Tamar Caprelian didn't make it to the final even. Jury screwed her up. It's it for me. It's the most shocking uh, thing. Uh, so share your opinion in the comments below. And if you want to stay tuned for more of my stuff to come, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, so you can be notified about my activity and my uploads immediately. Thank you for watching, guys, and see you later. Bye.